From cleansing to glory. From cleansing to glory. Before there can be a glory, there first needs a cleansing. So from cleansing to glory. Now if I ask you a question, how many of you are praying to see the glory manifest in your life? I'm sure every hands will go up. And if I ask the same question, how many of you are, are praying or desiring to see the glory manifest in your church or ministry? All pastors' hands and all ministry leaders' hands will go up. Am I right, everybody? Yes. But before the prophet Moses could come and stand in the glory presence of God, he first had to cleanse himself. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 5 we read that the Lord told him, remove your shoes. You are standing on holy ground. Don't take a step closer. First remove your shoes. Meaning, cleanse yourselves. The shoe symbolizes defilement. Because he had walked all over. That's why God told the prophet Moses, remove your shoes. Because the shoe had all the filth walking everywhere. Of course, the prophet Moses was not looking after chickens. He was looking after sheep. So sheep poo was there, right? And you step on the sheep poo, on the urine, all the dirt and all the stuffs were there. So this symbolizes uncleanness, abomination, filthiness. The Lord said, remove that. Before you can come into my glory, remove. And secondly, you read in Exodus chapter 19, the Lord told the prophet Moses to prepare the children of Israel to see his glory. But before that, they need to cleanse themselves for three days. Prepare their hearts, prepare their minds, remove all the filthiness from them before they can come before holy God to see His glory. So this is the word of the Lord. From cleansing to glory. Before you can receive the glory of God for your personal lives, as well as for your ministry or for your church, cleansing must first take place. So, Unless and until we as an individual or a church as a whole cleanses and purifies, which is the work of sanctification. Unless you do that, God will not fill you or your church with His glory. He cannot do that. He may bless you, the blessings will be there. His presence will come. But not the glory. Now, you, you please try to imagine like that. If that day, when the Lord told the prophet Moses to remove his shoes, what if he had said, no, I will not do that? You try to imagine now. And I will...